uh, hello friends uh, this video is based on uh, three input nand gate normally we see two input nand gate is given to you uh, in any question but it is quite different because it is having three input nand gate so in in case of any gate you can use multiple gates three four five six so here we have used three input nand gate and the uh, timing diagram of each input is given to you now what you need to do uh, you need to draw the output timing timing diagram so you need to draw the output timing diagram for the x so it's better to uh, design the truth table for this one because uh, uh, normally we get uh, um, truth table for two input nand gate so let's draw the truth table for the three input nand gate so i have already designed this three input nand gate truth table so a b c I have given and all the possible combinations are there and respective output. So here you can see only when all three inputs, when all three inputs are one, then you will get only zero and the rest of the places you will get one. So I think it's it will be easy because if any one of the input is zero, you will get output one. So let's start doing this one. So here uh, and starting from here so this a is one here and b is zero okay b is zero so it's better and uh, uh, since we already get one zero so uh, the output will be one consider this is x we are drawing for x now go for the next one so a is one till this value and b is zero till this value okay so till this value till this point it will remain one so we will make it one now at this point you can see this is one a is already one now c is zero okay so till this point it is one okay now here one 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 so when all the three inputs are one c is also one b is one and a was also one so we will make it zero okay now check next value so here a is 0 and it will remain till this value so it will again become 1 okay and it will remain 1 till this value no need to check b and c now at this y point a is 1 now b is 1 and c is also 1 so the output will goes 0 again because we already know whenever the a all the inputs are 1, the output will become 0. So next point, 1, this is 1, but this is 0. This is 0, C is 0 from here to here. So what we will do? It will again become 1 and it will remain 1 till this value. Now 1, here is 0, okay? And this B is 0 till this value, okay? So no need to check. Just it will remain, uh, it will remain 1 for this whole value okay no need to check a and c because if we get any one of the input zero we will get one output at this value this is one this is one but c is zero okay so it will remain one next value this is one this is one and c is also one so it will again become zero okay now next value you can see c become 0 okay so it will again become 1 and c is 0 till this value so no need to check b and a and b okay and it will remain 1 at this value c is 1 b is 1 and a is also 1 so it will again become 0 like this at this value c is 0 till this point so it will again become 1 okay and it will remain 1 till this value at this point this is 1 but b is 0 so it will again be remain 1 so this is the output for x for 3 input and uh, and gate you can see i already designed the truth table it's better to design the truth table first you write the truth table beside the circuit so it will be easy to draw this uh, kind of output waveform 
so guys i hope you got this explanation so if you like this explanation please like and subscribe my channel thank you